Hello again. I'm still at my home, and you may still be at yours. Today we're going to sing a new song and take a close look at the djembe drum. But first, I have three words for you. Beat, tempo, rhythm. They each mean something different, and they belong together. Let's break it down. That foot tapping, head bobbing, or hand clapping you do along with music, that's the beat you're feeling. B E A T. The beat is steady. You can rely on it. Each beat is just like the beat before it. To describe beat another way, it's like a ruler, but in our ear. And as we listen to music, we count each number on the ruler. In a way, we're measuring the music. Now, when we talk about beat, we often talk about tempo. T-E-M-P-O. Tempo is how fast or slow the beat goes. Here, let me show you something. This is a metronome. A metronome taps the beat for us. The slowest tempo's here, the fastest over here. What was tempo again? Oh yeah, that's right, how fast or slow the beat goes. But wait, what was the beat again? Aha, those foot taps are hand claps. Some call it a pulse. Here, let's listen. So why learn all this about the beat? Because if we want to learn music, play music, maybe even write some music, we need to be able to find the beat and feel the beat. So you have a beat, your beat is at a tempo, here comes rhythm, R-H-Y-T-H-M. Rhythm is how sounds repeat themselves. Short sounds, long sounds, for example, short, short, long, short, short, long, or maybe long, short, short, long, short, short. Let's practice. I'll sing a part of Simple Gifts. You'll recognize it from our first episode and I'll clap on the beat. You clap along. Tis a gift to be simple. Tis a gift to be free. Tis a gift to come down where we ought to be. Good. Now I'll sing that again, but this time you clap or tap the beat on your own. But I'll get you started. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift to come down where we ought to be. Were you able to find the beat? Now with the same tune, I'll clap the rhythm. Listen for a difference. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift to come down where we ought to be. Notice how our rhythm clapping and our beat clapping sometimes sounded the same and sometimes it didn't? That was one clap for each word or part of a word that I sang. The space between some of the words was long and short between some of the others. Now let's clap together. You clap the beat while I clap the rhythm. I'll get you started. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift to come down where we ought to be. Okay, that was good. Now let's switch. You clap the rhythm while I clap the beat. 
Okay, here we go. Tis a gift to be simple. Tis a gift to be free. Tis a gift to come down where we ought to be. Let's review our three words. Beat, tempo, rhythm. Beat is that steady hammer, that imaginary ruler that we measure our music with. Let me demonstrate for you on the djembe. Now tempo was how fast or slow the beat goes. In rhythm, that was how sounds repeat themselves. Let me show you rhythm one last way. Let's say each plate is a beat. We have four beats here. One, two, three, four. Let's add some rhythm by placing something on each plate, or I should say on each beat. Now, instead of clapping the beat, I'll clap the rhythm. Good. How about some more rhythm? Let me add another rhythm idea on this beat. Let's listen to our new rhythm. All right, this is starting to come together. Let's add one more rhythm idea. I'll put it here. So that's two claps for this beat. Let's listen. Hey, I really like that. We've got rhythm. This is a djembe. D-J-E-M-B-E. -E. The djembe is an old drum still played in West Africa and more recently all over the world. The first djembes were made by the Mande people in present-day Mali and Guinea. The story of the djembe began hundreds of years ago and includes kings, musicians, farmers, dancers, doctors, and many others. There are many djembe rhythms. Each rhythm has a time and a place. The rhythm you hear now is called kasa. This is for planting and harvesting food, a farmer's rhythm. The djembe has four parts the wood that makes the shell, the goat skin that makes the head, the hoops that hold the head in place, and the rope that tunes the head. When the head is hit, a sound is made. The djembe has three sounds. The bass, the tone, and the slap. This is a djembe. Before I play for you a new song, I would like to introduce you to someone. All good Freeman lived in Rome a long time ago, and in his backyard he had a stable where he would shoe horses. Now like us and our feet, horses can have hooves of different sizes. A hoof is what we call a horse's foot. Mr. Freeman had horseshoes of every size on all four walls of his stable. I like to think that he was so skilled that he could put a horseshoe on just about anything. Of course, horseshoes are best left for the horses. So here's our tune, All Good Freemen Can Shoe Your Horse.
good freemen can shoe your horse. All good freemen can shoe your horse. All good freemen can shoe a hoof of any size. A hoof of any size. A hoof of any size. All good freemen can shoe your cat. All good freemen can shoe your cat. All good freemen can shoe. Now wait, cats don't have hooves. What do you call a cat's foot? A paw of any size. A paw of any size. A paw of any size. All good freemen can shoe your whale. All good freemen can shoe your whale. All good freemen can shoe a fin of any size. A fin of any size. A fin of any size. All good freemen can shoe your pal. All good freemen can shoe your gal. All good freemen can shoe a foot of any size. A foot of any size. A foot of any size. All good freemen can shoe your horse. All good freemen can shoe your horse. All good freemen can shoe a hoof of any size. Thank you for spending time with me and with music. <laughs>